Hello everyone, welcome back to Power Expertise. And in today's video, I would like to introduce you to the location column that you can utilize in your SharePoint list and libraries. So let's get started. So this is my SharePoint list where I want to store the physical address of my list. Okay, so just come here in the last and you will have an option of add columns. Click on that, scroll down, you will have this type of location column. Just click on it and click on next. Provide some name to your column. I will give my column name as location type column. And again, you will have a flexibility to extract some more information about your physical address. Let's suppose city, state, postal code, the street address. Okay. I only want city, state and postal address for my column. So I will select these three and click on save. Now this uh, column has been added into my SharePoint list. Now I will select that particular row, go to this information document information panel, scroll down, find your location type column. And this is a geographical location of your of your specific address okay so let's suppose you the intelligence will work for you okay so let's suppose you like write btm layout this is my uh, residing address so let's suppose i have written these two words and the intelligence will give me a bunch of options out of which i can select the one based on my location so let's suppose i have sec I, I want to select the second one once you add it let this to be saved it is saved now close this panel and here you go. You have selected city, you have selected state, and you have selected postal address. So all three has been categorized and, it, and it's been extracted from your geographical location. So why we need it, you must ask, right? So let's suppose the state column, I want to group it by, okay? So since I have only one row in my list, you can have multiple, you know, rows in your real, real uh, time scenario. So uh, for now, my uh, location is being grouped by state. So let's suppose I have ample Sala, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand. So you can see all in a group manner and you will be able to, you know, sort your things. You can apply filters, you can search. So these can be, you know, uh, this is how you can manipulate your data. So I think this location is, this location column will be of very use when it comes to uh, the address of the physical address of any particular item. Here in my, in my case, I have given you example of a list. Same you can apply to your uh, document library as well. Suppose I just go to my document section and I have an add column. So here also I have an option to create my column as a location type. So in your document library also you can create it. So for, for any specific reason, it's suppose you want to give a physical address to your document. So you can leverage this um, option of SharePoint. I hope you find this uh, video useful. I will be glad to help you out. Stay tuned with me on this Power Expertise to get more knowledge on Dynamic 365 or on Power Platform. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.